So here is a blood sample of an Oncorhynchus micus, or a rainbow trout. I got a lot of neat footage of it, and it's kind of cool to compare this blood from a multicellular year carryout to the blood of a homo sapien, or a human. Um, so basically what a rainbow trout is, or Oncorhynchus micus so it's a type of fish it's found in fresh water and it's from the class tiliosti um, order salmoniforms family salmonidae subfamily salmoninae and genus oncorhynchus you can see its blood here moving very slowly and you can see how it's black i don't know if that's natural or not. It could be because this was exposed to oxygen for a long time. So here is another clip. It sped up 500% speed. You can see how it is moving. Sorry that it's shaking so violently. My brother was playing soccer while I made this. But you can see it here and you can see those cells closer up and they are not very much like the cells of humans, which I'd assume is the only species watching this video. And here is what those cells actually look like. This is with the 40 times objective. You can see how they look. They are black and you cannot see the nucleus. They're opaque. Human blood cells are usually transparent, but this is also a very thick sample. And you can see this going through here. This is not sped up at all, so even though the fish was clinically dead, its blood is still living, which is something people sometimes forget, that if something is clinically dead, all of its cells do not die. They are still living for sometimes hours after whatever that organism was is clinically dead with eukaryotic animals. And goodbye. Enjoy the rest of the video.